right click the universal usb installer select run as administrator click yes i agree um we're gonna go ahead and install i'm doing ubuntu now i'm gonna browse to my iso that's on uh, i already downloaded it persistent file storing changes optional i always recommend that you give this a few hundred megabytes maybe a gig or two um i'll give it yeah one about one gig and a half should be good now, okay so it's gonna go ahead and do all that to the usb just click yes now this will take a long time to do so um just hang out do something be patient play a game or something um it takes a while if you have any trouble during this installation make sure that you have 7z uh the file extractor installed and if you get any trouble you know and you don't have it installed try installing it and then try doing this all over and see what happens all right, now we got Windows installed on the USB. We're going to load our boot menu by hitting Escape. Um, you have to look at the options here to find out which one is relevant to your computer because they're different, um, you know, across different devices, different hardware. We're going to select our USB flash memory PMAP, and we're going to get ready to install Ubuntu. We don't want to download updates while installing. No, I won't install uh, third-party software. I'll get the Ubuntu restricted extras, which are kind of better after we install. You can get those from the software center. All right, now we're presented with a few options here. Um, if you partition like I do, we're going to we're going to select something else. Um, generally, using the automatic configurations are really bad. You should always partition. Um, if you don't know how to partition, I'll just go over it briefly. Since I've already partitioned, I don't have to do it. But uh, for the sake of partitioning, let's say you want to partition this. Uh, let's say this is just an empty drive. It's really not. Um, I would click the plus or minus. Okay, so that's free space. Uh, now I can click the plus. Now I can decide how much space. Now let's say this is all free space. I could decide how much space I want this partition to be. Um, I want to use all the space because it's my root partition. It's 15 gigabytes. So I'm going to make it the mount point is going to be the root. EXT4 filing system. I mean journal filing system. And yeah, so that's pretty good for me. Uh, that's how you partition your drives pretty simple um not that tough so once you decide uh to partition the only advice i can give is really um make sure that you give the most space to your home partition which is this is my home partition i've already like i said i've partitioned it already all i gotta do is point the um installer to this partition I don't want to format it because all my personal stuff is on there we're going to select home partition the mount point um, and ext4 filing system swap you don't really have to cannot do that's fine um, so now the installer knows that this is home this is root it's going to partition it and format it's already been partitioned but whatever it's going to format the root and um, we're ready to install as soon as I always like having a large amount of swap it's it can help you out sometimes All right, so we're ready to install um, our root is going to get um, formatted which is good it's going to wipe out all of our applications now I'm going to give you a brief uh, explanation of what each of my partitions do uh, for people who are new to this root is where all your applications get installed um, your swap is pretty much when your RAM is busy or it's full um, it will write things to your swap partition which is good it'll help uh, speed up your computer um, or when your RAM has software that you're really not using it'll push everything out of the RAM and put it to swap 
um, to handle the software that you are using uh, in RAM right now. So it's kind of like if you don't use the software for a long time, it goes to the, so the, the swap uh, partition. Now, the home partition is where all your personal files, your configurations, everything goes. So everything like your configurations for the software that you've installed will go in the home file, in the home uh, partition. And um, your personal files, pictures, videos, anything you download. Uh, so by formatting your root, you're getting rid of the uh, applications, but you're not getting rid of their configuration. So when you reinstall your uh, software, it's going to have its same configuration as last time. All right, let's move on forward. It's asking us where our location is. I'm not sure, but I think this is for the clock, um, possibly. Let me put in my location. That was right. Now I gotta insert my password. Now it's installing. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave the tutorial here and just to keep the video short um, after it's installed it's just going to ask you to reboot once you reboot you can log into your uh, Ubuntu partition